Y hasta por mí, y por ti borrón, y eso que tú tienes fo, y yo ni un kiki. Ah. Ah. Welcome back to me, Kamala. Y que lo que mi gente. <laughs> you know what's funny, you were singing. Welcome to my house party, party before we started. <laughs> and I started thinking about when you first moved into your apartment and you invited me over. To your housewarming party, right? Right. I didn't bring you any gifts. housewarming gift? gift? Yeah, I didn't bring you a housewarming gift, so I still owe you. Okay, okay. Well. And I actually owe a lot of people. People a housewarming gift? Some housewarming gifts. Housewarming gifts coming soon. And wedding gifts. I think I owe somebody a what? wedding gift. Wedding gift coming soon, guys. My apologies. What, what would be your, like, if you was to move to your own apartment, mm -hmm. what would you think would be, like, the most essential thing you needed as a housewarming gift? As a housewarming gift? Yeah, like, what would you appreciate, like, that somebody got you? I feel like the, you know, microwaves, toasters. Okay. Maybe a refrigerator. <laughs> a whole refrigerator. I don't know. I don't know what else. That's But, like, little little cool stuff like that. Like, like I, so It's like little things you don't think about, like savannas. Oh, yeah, some yeah. bed sheets, some yeah, towels. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. people overthink it sometimes. And some they just got you the, you. Some, like, stuff you're never going to use. Yeah, some silverware, use. some plates. Yeah, all that good yeah. stuff. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, what you throwing? What you want? <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, you was, hint, was hinting. All right, so you want, you want, you want sheets? For me, got my lounge, man. Sheets. Gotta change the sheets okay. every now and then, you know you, what I'm You gotta change them. Yes, because yeah. Jose does drool line. Me got my lounge. <laughs> Welcome back. I was actually the one in the bus today. Ooh. Public transportation, you know. Uh, Jose inspired me a little bit to go back to the buses. And I was there. He, I don't know if you realize, but we spent six hours with no social media, no WhatsApp, no Facebook, no Instagram. I heard, I heard. I was I was at work, so I was not really on my phone during that time. Right, right. So it, did, it didn't affect me. It didn't affect me. as much. But... Like, for me, I realized it when my WhatsApp wasn't going through. And I'm, mm -hmm. like, just connecting, connecting, <laughs> connecting. I'm, like, yo, I paid the Wi-Fi today. And mm -hmm. I go outside and everything else is working but the WhatsApp. That's usually how I communicate, like, with family. Like, what's going on? And uh, nothing. Like, I got a text. Like, hey, this is not working for so-and-so and so. And I go and I read an article on it. Now, of course, I that I'm on public transportation. Mm -hmm. With kids going to school now, <laughs> and you would think they're talking about it, and oh my god, Instagram, this and this and that. But no, it was a doña. A do just going crazy. Que no hay redes sociales. <laughs> eh, la foto, like, like, just talking about how she took a selfie and she mm -hmm, can't even she upload can. it. And I'm like, yo, la gente. I'm pretty sure. Actually, my mom called me. And she's like, es, el teléfono no me quiere trabajar. Hoy. No pagaste el bill hoy. She's like, no, no puedo usar WhatsApp, no puedo usar Instagram because she don't know what, like, what's, go what's going on. So I'm pretty sure, like, mad people, like, mad donas, like you said, or have no idea what's going But, on. But, like, her biggest concern was, like, uploading she, her up selfie. She was looking fire that day. She wanted to post for her boot thing, probably. Doña was lit. Doña was lit. <laughs> But it's, it's crazy because imagine us. In a world with no social media, like the Instagram models would be with no jobs. <laughs> no jobs. No. It, you know, it's it's cool. Like people like to do the whole unplug thing, but like you still get text messages, you still get emails, even like phone calls, like whatever. But it's like, what would the world actually be like with no social media? Like a better place in a way. Like, I don't know. No, I think we would lose touch with a lot of people because a lot of people we do communicate for sure. with through DMs. And, and it's like, you're not, what are you watching? <laughs> Everybody's going to be watched to watching the news, sports, and cable television. Like, you're I'm probably not going to stream anything. Yeah. You hear what? People are not going to be on YouTube because that's technically kind of a social media well, if you really think about it. You're right, you're right. Because I'm just thinking about the three the, the three the that main. went down. So today <laughs> yo me encontré finishing uh Squid Games. I don't know if you No, I haven't got I haven't gotten the in. chance to see the Squid Game. It's it's intense. <laughs> it's, it's intense. And then so then I was on YouTube a mm -hmm. lot. Like today I was on YouTube because I was like waiting around and stuff. So instead of me like manually like it's crazy how your fingers just know where the app right. is at. <laughs> And then it's just not there anymore. Even if it's there, you have to kind of remind yourself. Like, it's not working. Like, you kind of have to do something else. <laughs> <laughs> that, I don't know why I thought about this, but it, remind, it reminds me of... Because back in the day when, when we were in high school, we used to throw... Not a house... Uh, I said coro. I wouldn't say house party. Little coros. 
And they won't, you know, we'll be texting, like, or in the group chats, like, everybody come here, come this, let's go to Jose's house, let's go to Jose's sister house. Yeah, okay. And there's this, this one specific time where we, did, it was me, you, and your other homegirl that yeah. I had a crush on. Yeah, yeah. We, I invited you guys over to my sister house so we could chill. But there was somebody else that tagged along. Okay. That I never, like, I said what up to him many times before, but I, he was... It wasn't nothing to me. I didn't, like, fuck with him like that. So I, I wanted to ask you, like, why was he there? Was was he part of, like, <laughs> like it was an agreement, like, okay. Uh, <laughs> Anywhere I'll go, you go, we'll I go, go. We'll go to your house, Jose, your sister's house, and I'll bring you-know-who along if this person could come. Mm. Or did he, like, just, was he a lambong and he just, like, tagged I, along? Like, he was definitely a lambong. Because, you know, like, I would understand if I had the crush on him or, like, if we were, like, <laughs> on a talking phase. And I'm like, all right, Jose, I'll bring you home, girl. And let me mm-hmm. chill around with homeboy so I won't be, even on the best yeah, third I wheel. was confused. <laughs> I, it was still fun. That no, day. no, of course. Of course <laughs> but, it was. But I was just confused about that whole thing. But so. thinking back on it, no, it's just kind of like, he, he was always kind of with us. Like so he fought, in he the shadow, you? yeah, and okay. and in a way, like we didn't really think about it. Like the the probably the most educated thing no, for yeah. us to do, or the respectful thing to do, is be like, "Yo, Jose, like he's coming along." But I think we didn't even know how to like kind of like just, "Yo, we're going here, mm-hmm. and you can't come." Like he literally just followed. Yeah, and I wasn't everywhere. one of those people. Like, hey, oh, what right. are you doing? Like, <laughs> All right, just coming. The more the merrier. Whatever. You know, I didn't even think about it that way. But cuando tú te pones a pensar, like that's kind of manners. Like, hey, but I, I just think we didn't know how to tell him no. Or, yeah, or, or we just... didn't want to make him feel bad. Right, I guess. right, right. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I said the RC and the day was actually pretty, yeah, it, was it was cool. Fun. Yeah. It was cool. <laughs> but I never thought about it that way. So and my then, bad. It's so good. <laughs> and then the, there was one moment where he asked for like a banana. <laughs> And that's all he ate. <laughs> Oye, a house coro with cerveza. Yeah, drinks. There was drinks. probably snacks. Yeah, yeah. And we were all just... But he wanted that banana. And it was like... I remember it being so weird because it wasn't like a fresh, nice banana. It was... Algo ya medio podrido. Yeah, it had like... You know, it had, you saw there was more black than yellow. Mm. <laughs> and he wanted to eat it. And he ate it. Con gusto. Like, he enjoyed it. So that was... But if you think about like back at the person then it's kind of like but that's the thing he he uh, he seemed weird like wasn't your typical you know person yeah. <laughs> in high school you know you, you there's always not normal kids in in high school but he was always around and yeah he was just always around yeah like even <laughs> now strange. when i go back and i think i showed you uh the high school uh kind of um yearbook you guys made especially for me when i like left to florida mm-hmm. i wasn't part of that but yes you did you signed and everything bro. i signed that shit yeah uh, i probably i probably somebody else that i probably liked had it he <laughs> and signed the shit and out I was, of it and i was here thinking that it was theirs and it was actually yours i i want you guys <laughs> to pick up when jose is like being sarcastic and stuff <laughs> but on now you know you guys printed out pictures of us like i think i don't have icloud to go back that far into those like are the high only school images. so those are the only images okay. i have beat that and instagram and facebook where we don't need you guys <laughs> no y no es por nada mm-hmm. pero él está en varias de esas fotos no yeah so it's kind That's of like cool. when you think about it like he was just like always there, but yeah. not there because we kind of just did our he, own thing anyway. He was a nice fella. He didn't yeah. he didn't bring no problems, but it was yeah. just it was just weird that day. He tagged along and asked for a banana. So what if and he asked for a banana? <laughs> so how would you react to like something like that now that we're like more adults? Like, you know, I know you probably don't have the balls to go to somebody else's house without saying like, yo, like I kind of have like my younger cousin with me or this and this and that, but. If somebody just randomly shows up to your house like that and brings fulanito, fulanito, Like, let's say you pull up to one of my events or something and mm-hmm. you bring somebody I don't know. Like, it's cool because as long as you know, I trust you. Right. So I'm like, all right. <laughs> you know? But if you're telling me that... It's just a random thing. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. that you, you <laughs> caught up to him, like, in the street and he's like, oh, where you going? No, and you I... told him I'm going here and then he just decided to follow you. And that's and a I, yeah, questionable. Like, yeah, like, what are you doing here? That is a little questionable. And I, and I think you would be smart enough to know not to go 
yeah to keep going like i think for us it was just mostly like how he was always there and then we just all went to the oh, same yeah. school but and i was probably horny trying to get him <laughs> trying to get your friend or whatever so <laughs> I'm like, Tag I'm like, along. yeah yeah <laughs> but it's uh do you do you like bananas i like bananas like, uh not brown with the brown spots <laughs> and everything like uh, if it's at that point i'm like blending it and making a smoothie out of okay, it okay you like smoothies i love like smoothies do you like uh do green you... juice green juice yeah nah i don't i don't drink like smoothies or anything. i literally i love i love water like that's my thing i drink a lemonade i drink an iced tea that's probably as far as i go like i, f- I fucks with water, with water. <laughs> much water is that's why you have good skin water is tasty thank you you think so i don't think so yeah. You think I'm flawless? You're flawless. <laughs> <laughs> but like your bananas, do you, you eat, or you cut you cut them up? You eat it with your rice. You put in your cereal. Tell me what you doing. What you doing with Depending, this banana? Uh, if I'm gonna just go, I gotta look at my surroundings because <laughs> okay. then people would you like. Always, you always gotta look at your surroundings <laughs> yeah. when you open your mouth wide. <laughs> um, I've had them. They go hard with like Spanish food, like rice and chicken, and okay. they, it goes hard. And that, I think that's the finishing touch. Come on, see, for aguacate, that's the finishing touch to making Excuse a meal. Me very very good you think so yeah and with the cereal i've had it like a handful of times yeah i'm not, I'm not really like i like platano maduro mm. but are, are you gonna tell me that platano maduro tastes just like banana like regular banana when you eat it with rice and stuff because no. if you tell me that then no. I'll, I'll bet us go buy a banana and eat <laughs> eat it with rice today no uh not the same i think it, it's but they all come from the same family though el platano <laughs> platano, platano maduro bananas. banana Oh, guineo, guineo. Guineito. You like guineito? Oh, yeah, that's like something guineito. that I'm like, uh, like uh. <laughs> But that's interesting. Guineito. Like, that's yeah, just... like, why do they... Like, what makes it smaller than a banana? What makes it different? <laughs> yeah, like, like, do they get to choose, like, I want to be a platano maduro, or I want to be a, a green guineito. plantain, or a guineito, or a regular banana type shit. Yeah, yeah. That, that's not funny. What's something, uh... You think that's just a Dominican thing that they just like name it like just like platano? Yeah, like you know that they give stuff like weird names like that. <laughs> like have have you ever like experienced something like that? Like you know, like just Dominicans. Like is it just our culture that's like that, or you think it's every culture? Como que le dan nombre rarísimo. Yeah, that's... like why do you have two last names? <laughs> last name or like two first names you know like have you met certain people like that or, or you you ever watched the there's a oprah winfrey on youtube where she's interviewing this girl who mom gave her like like oh, 50 names name. yeah <laughs> like what's the what's the purpose of that like i don't even think they should let you do that at the point like I'm, am i really gonna type that out as a nurse she rem- like you have to remember like that's so like who who are you saying that to? Why why do we have so many names for? Or does she need a specific ID, or double the ID just so that full a name f- could a fucking book? <laughs> like my ID is a book, literally. Pretty much, pretty like, much. Like I feel like that's silly. That's like what are uh, what are names that you, you you shouldn't name people, or like old names like fucking barbara would you like you think in 2021 okay 2021 karen is off limits karen yeah because <laughs> of all the memes that's going the karens on out there? karens i think it's off i know limits. a lot of karens and i, I think yeah, that, i have cousins that are named i think karen. i think that name will continue but 2020 should you name someone barbara <laughs> like imagine holding a baby hey barbara yeah no yeah that's right kinda like too that. long. that's kind of too long <laughs> or like what is uh kanye's and uh or North. North, but I think that that's cool. I, the one that I think is kind of strange is Chicago. Chicago. Like, name your child Chicago. Chicago West. Yeah, but I like North, and then it's uh, Psalms, Psalms yeah. West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chicago. There's four of them, right? I don't know what's the other There's one. There's like three girls and one boy or something North like that. Northwest, Palm West, Chicago West. I don't know what's But the see, they thing. have money, so they're able to pull that off. Like, imagine... Me sending you my resume and my name is Shaniqua. <laughs> Shaniqua. Shaniqua West. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds a little bit, you know, but like names like that, like. I feel um, you. I feel you. 
There's been other names like uh, Latoya, Laquisha, yeah, Lashana. Yeah, yeah, like rev- no, I'm very, just kidding, very. I'm not <laughs> yeah, neither am I. But I'm just saying, like <laughs> stuff like that. Like you have to like envision. envision well, yeah, because unfortunately, like, there's people out there that do see the name Laquisha, Latoya, and and they judge right away, yeah. and and they shouldn't. They, that's absolutely true. Because and then you bring them to an interview, and it's completely imagine completely a different person mm-hmm. that you didn't think about. Or same, right? yeah, same with like the Spanish culture, like. They be naming, uh, let's say the dad's name is like Rafael. They want to name their son Rafael. Rafael. And then if they have a female, Rafaeline. Like, yeah. <laughs> what's going on? And then look, so my name is Marielle. Your name is Marielle. And my sister's name is Arielis. Arielis. So depending on the tone of voice mm-hmm. that my mom had, and she's screaming. So imagine she's in the kitchen and she's screaming, Arielis. <laughs> it sounds No, like she's that. mad. You go. She's but calling no, you. <laughs> but like, if it's something like, oh, like. But your your name and your sister's name is not that bad. Marielle and Arielle. Like, my name is Jose. <laughs> like, imagine me. Jose? Imagine me having like four kids and they're all boys, and I'm each naming them Jose, Jose the third, Jose the fourth. Yeah, Jose, like, and that's something that has to stop. Lo que me molesta a mí, and I don't know if my family don't love me enough, <laughs> and my sister or what. But every time they write, and it's mostly my mom's family, mm-hmm. um, when they write to us, like on WhatsApp, or they even got us so far as a birthday cake, mm-hmm. they write my name the way my sister's name ends, and they write my sister's name the, the way, way yours mine ends. And, and it's just like, I, come may, on, maybe, it's 26 years Maybe already. you've been spelling your name wrong the whole time. <laughs> Have you it, checked no, your birth certificate? <laughs> Imagine they can not. I gotta let you know something. So I, I'm actually gonna check my birth certificate too. Do you know what time you were born? Six fifty-nine. I think in the morning. Oh, in the morning. In okay. the morning. I was born at p.m. I think one forty-three. My mom. Do you me. know what p.m. <laughs> PM Do I know what a.m. and p.m. stand for? <laughs> That's a good one. Mm, uh, okay. Mm. What else did she like tell you? Like you don't have to go into details, but like how long she was in labor for and stuff like uh, that. No, I don't know. Like. Probably a long time. Yeah, because my mom always, like, every time she's mad at me, she's like, you have to know, like, I was in labor for this many hours. Mm-hmm. And, uh, like, and and there's, like, this whole beef of women, like, women who give birth normal and then women who have C-section. C-section. Like, there's there's literally beef. Like, I hear women talk, ah, tú no sabes lo que... Eh, oh, que parió la luz. Sí, sí, sí. Like, yeah, all gave birth. Just, you gave birth, regardless it was six section and came out of your vagina. You gave birth to a child. Yo, pero it's all the same. So I, I'm easy. sure, but I feel also, like, I feel like the yourself. hardest part is carrying a baby nine months, making sure the baby's healthy, taking care of the baby, and then you guys get like tractions and all that good stuff. Uh, I feel like the actual birth part is like the least of the, your worries. Yeah, you just you know want to make saying? it out healthy, yeah. make sure your baby's good. Oh. You know, I, I, that's, no, sorry. <laughs> no, one thing that I, I, I really want to be a mom more than anything, but like, do te pone a pensar, like, have you ever had like really, I don't know, do guys even get cramps? Cramps? Oh, yeah, we get cramps, yeah. like leg cramps and stomach no, cramps. No, like stomach cramps, right? Yeah, we get stomach so cramps. Like, like sometimes I'll be stretching weird and then I'll I just be stuck like that. But that's like and a Charlie hurts. horse. Oh, you, you mean like, you mean like tractions? Like, do we get pain? Yeah, like just. Like there's this, um, this abdominal toner thing mm-hmm. i don't know if that feels like tractions but it makes your it, and, it, and it hurts you know what depending we should on do? the intensity level right right because yeah, yeah yeah that's what i i saw it in um impractical jokers and it was just like a dare and they had it and yeah, i put mucho. it on before and really it, it does hurt okay okay so imagine <laughs> that like I, I but i don't is that what that feels like you know is it comparable like i don't know i know i know cramps hurt to begin with so i can only imagine They're, la madre siempre me dice no que okay, imagínate that on like a hundred that's what it's like to give birth and then i'm like i <laughs> well, might you know, want to adopt Span- i might want to reconsider <laughs> spanish people love exaggerating i'm being <laughs> a lot what was the biggest exaggeration you feel like spanish people have done the biggest exaggeration i don't know but oh, I I I definitely know. Like the funniest thing is like when when Spanish people they get together, like let's say all your aunts or local madres get together, or let's say their friends, their neighbors, lo que sea, and then they just start talking about like oh, 
Eh, la nietecita mía es una Biblia. Mm, <laughs> y tú conoces esa Biblia. And they, they, <laughs> don't, Biblia no. they, don't, they don't speak not one word or, or they behave mad bad or they're not smart at all. Like they start, oh no, pero la hija mía, el, el hijo mío hace esto. Or this and this and, and the craziest part is when you're there and you actually know that person. <laughs> That's the best part. And you got to stay like, quiet. Why is, like, why is my mom <laughs> fronting right now? Like, but it's funny because you know that other people are also fronting right now, exaggerating. Oh, la mía ya sabe correr. Or <laughs> y ni sabe gatia. <laughs> <laughs> well, how about... Oh, and I don't know. No, I think that's uh, just people in general. I'm five minutes away. I'm five. <laughs> and they're really just coming out the shower right away. now. Yeah, like I that. do that sometimes, like... If they do that to me. Okay. Like, let's say I'm always on time with them. And then one time, and they're they're always late. And then one time that I'm going to be late for them, like, I'll, I'll be like, oh, I'm just five, five minutes, minutes away. away. <laughs> Knowing that I'm not five minutes away. Okay. Just so they know how it feels. How it feels, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> I, I love doing that on purpose. I think I've done it to you. You probably did that to me today. <laughs> nah, it takes me a long time to get here okay, from okay, work. Okay. <laughs> I don't lie. I'm like, I'm sure you've done it many yeah. times. Because I'm always late. <laughs> she said, yeah. I'm always late. Um, like, oh, I'm, I'm 10 minutes away. You know what and, it is? Like and I, you're just putting your shoes on. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I am. I am. I am guilty for that. But I think it's a girl thing. Like, we got to make sure we're looking, you know, an average 7 out of 10 before you go. An average 7 out of 10? Okay. Before you leave your house, at least. Even if it's a rush, you should be... Well, well prepared. Double check yourself, you know? Okay. <laughs> I like that. What was that? <laughs> like, uh, like what, what was it, Will Smith? Fresh Prince of Bel-Air? Where... I forgot what it was. What was it? Yeah, I feel like I saw, I seen that in the show. They kept going like that. And mm-hmm. that was like a mean, tough girl. Talking about TVs, you want to guess around, who I saw sure. yesterday? Like like a person on TV, a famous person. A famous person. Who did you see? He comes to my job a lot, but yesterday was the first time I saw. That you him. actually got to see him. Nice. Yeah. And mm-hmm. <laughs> she dragging it out. Okay. A little bit, a little bit, because <laughs> um, he's from Boys in the Hood. Boys in the Hood. Okay. Have you seen that movie? Ice Cube. No. <laughs> It, it's boys. No, I skip his name. I know, is he, he is, yeah, he, he is, is, he is yeah. the younger. Oh, <laughs> and he's in a lot of memes. Um, Cuban. He's Cuban. C- Cuban good good. Uh, oh, Cuban Gooda Jr. That's the dude that be going to your job. Like he he was there yesterday, so he goes right. I I already that's came, dope. He already came on my shift, and I'm sitting outside with my boss and like mm-hmm. a few coworkers. We're having like a casual drink, just talking. And he comes, he says hi to my boss, and he's there with his girlfriend, and, like okay. some other dude. And we're like, you know, go inside, like the bar's still open, so they go inside, they they go there for like two drinks. Mm-hmm. And then when he comes out, his girl comes out first. Mm-hmm. Oh, he introduces himself. One of my coworkers didn't know who he was. Excuse and then me. we kind of looked at her like, <laughs> you know, like I, I, like a lot of famous people come to my job, but I can't really tell by face, but him was one of the ones like, I I've seen a lot of memes and everything else. Like I know who he is. Job. And he's introducing himself. He gives me a handshake. He goes inside. Then he comes outside. Like when he's leaving and he's like, oh, you're cute. And then he looks at my coworker. Oh, you're cute too. Pero mm-hmm. la mujer, right de, como, como. Alante de él y todo y como que no. But it's crazy. <laughs> like, you know, like I've. Maybe that maybe they're that type of couple, you know? Oh yeah, maybe, maybe. But it's just crazy to like know that you're so like, let's say New York. Mm-hmm. It's so big, but it's so small. Like you would never think that famous people like live around where you work or live around where you live or hang out where you. Or work like if you don't know them, to, right? Or you hang, you know, you just walk by mm-hmm. a person and you don't even know like their. But status. like no, nobody else and like at your job knew who he was. Oh or yeah, something? my boss like, knows no, him all the. Uh, no, but like nobody was trying to like take pictures with him or interrupt so, his lunch or dinner, whatever. They've it was. taken pictures with him before, like you can see it like on the website mm-hmm. and everything. That's why I, I kind of knew like he lived around the area, but this is the first time I actually see him. But at that point, like I said, I was outside hanging out. Like, my shift was over. So it was literally, like, the last 10 minutes before we closed. Like, he went in for a casual drink and then got out. But okay. it's just, like, oh. That's pretty cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
But that's it. Was it. Just... Did you get starstruck? Like no, oh, not really. That's why. Yes. That's why I'm a little like. Well, not that I'm like. Imagine I start doing that. <laughs> hey, Diablo. But maybe because I'm not like attracted to him. But if it was somebody like, you or know, you're like, not a big fan, or like, either. yeah, like I see him or I see all the memes they have like on Instagram, <laughs> or like I know about his story where he has like a whole like sexual stalk and blah, blah blah blah. I don't know about that. Yeah, but like that stuff you can read. But no, like if it's somebody like Mahina that Drake, he just comes inside, mm-hmm. or like um, an MLB player or something that I know, like. I would probably yeah. be like, ah. <laughs> se te moja. Uh, possibly. <laughs> o se te bajan los panties. But it, I thought it was it was cool, but like I can imagine that somebody that's like really into him or whatever would be he like, was, yo, let me take a picture, let me do this, let me do that. He was in a uh, a movie that I liked when I was younger. Um, it was like with snow dogs. Mm, mm. I forgot the name. It's probably called Snow Dogs. Yeah, yeah probably, which, right? Because it kind of I, I don't <laughs> brings know about the, just like that. I don't know the name of it. but I, I, That was like one of my favorite first movies that I saw of him. Over him? Yeah. Yeah, pero... <laughs> no, not to talk anything, pero... Se ve un poquito abandonado. Like, or maybe he's just he's trying to... just getting yeah, older. Yeah, older, and then maybe he just wants... Because that's the thing with famous people. Like, they just want to live casual life. Like, imagine me. Like, even if I was to see Drake, Drake would probably be like, yo, like... The first thing she's gonna ask is for a picture or, farm, or this <laughs> or this and this and that. And they I'm just a certified be lover boy, chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come near me. But oh, it, it, that's the first thing they probably assume that everybody wants to take a picture and do this and this and that, and they just want to be just regular ass people. Just okay. let me go in here for a drink. Let me do this. Let me chill. And he and Drake has another fun. Like first, you said good. Like. That's probably like a family name or like something religious or something that we simply don't know. That's just we find it weird to us. But Drake's name was Aubrey. Yeah. Like, what do you think about that name? Aubrey? Uh huh. It kind of sounds like a girl's like name. Like a girl's name, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. How, how do you feel about like people naming their child with like uh, u- uh, unisex uh, yeah. names? Like Alexis. It's, it's <laughs> questionable Aubrey. because when you read it or you kind of like don't see the in person, yeah. like imagine, like oh, like oh my like, god, I'm coming through with Alexis and Aubrey, and oh, she's yeah, coming with two, two girls, <laughs> and it's <laughs> two <laughs> like, what the f- <laughs> like, what's going on here? Like, I thought you was bringing Alexis and Aubrey. <laughs> this <laughs> like, is Alexis and I'm Aubrey. Alexis. I'm Aubrey. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> that was my. Yeah, you gotta have to think about it, and I think like people should have fun with names. Well, not too much fun. Not too much fun, obviously. They get creative. Yeah. Or like, yeah, I remember back in the day those memes where they're like, "We're black people." I could, I'm black, so I could say these things. <laughs> they say uh, black people love naming their kids after things they can't have, like Mercedes <laughs> <laughs> or Porsche. <laughs> and that's exactly what they named their child. Uh, that's messed up. But like these these names are weird. Like and I, like I told you before, the whole barber one. Like what what's our other name? Would you name? Harold, Harold. Actually, I know a Harold. I know a Harold so too. Don't you feel know no type crazy? of way. When Harold. I was going, <laughs> when I was going through my grandma's apartment, um, my mom and she like signed it and everything. She had an a baby name book. A baby. Like a baby name book. Like, like a book with baby names. Yeah, and then okay. it kind of tells you like the meanings and stuff like that. That's but cool. like, obviously, she didn't even use it because one, she told me. You Wait. want to hear the story? Mm-hmm. She told me she made up my name. And it wasn't until I went to high school. And you know, well, there was like two other Mariellis in that school. There was? Yeah. They look good? One of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. There was two other Mariellis. And I went back home and I'm like, oh, but like, I really thought you put some thought into this. I thought this. you picked it. <laughs> and she, obviously she did it because there was other Mariellis. I actually don't know any other Mariellis. You're the Without only Marielli. You're the only Marielli, sorry. Marielli. Singular. Marielli that <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, no. How many Jose's you know? <laughs> well. That's crazy, right? I gotta save your name like Jose Mikama Lounge. Like because... I have I have to keep the legacy of my last name, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm definitely not naming my kids Jose. Like <laughs> that's sure. a no- it has to stop. Junior. Jose Junior. So like, are no. you named after your dad? No, my brother's name. That's my uh, dad. But I have my dad's middle name. Okay, well that's that's reasonable. <laughs> it is, but yeah. still, like, keep just keep the last name. Let's keep that legacy. 
give him a completely different or unique first name. And how do you, what do you think about, uh, like, middle names? You think a child should have a middle name? Middle names are cool. Like, uh, honestly, I'll probably name <laughs> my first child's middle name be Jose. Okay. But it'll be, it wouldn't be, like, fucking, what, what are common Dominican names with middle names of Jose, like? Wouldn't be, like, uh-huh. it wouldn't be like uh huh. Wouldn't be like Juan Jose. See, see, see. Too many. Julio Cesar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are my uncles, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> no, but even and the reason I brought up the um, the whole Cuban story is because like you know like the guy that went to mm-hmm. my job is because like your name after a whole like country. Cuba. Yeah. Cuban. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <And Junior. laughs> and, uh, so notice there's somebody else already named, named that, which is. Is this insane? Like. And, does he have any kids? I'm not actually sure. I I'm pretty sure he got a son. Probably named Cuban <laughs> Jr. Probably. Yeah. Good. I don't know. I don't know. How, how you feel like those names, like naming them countries or states or something like Star or Hope? Like, no. think, like you sort of unique names, but not unique because we use those words in, in, in like sentences and shit. Yeah. Like Sunshine. Okay. I'm, yo, there was a sunshine. There was a sunshine. I wonder what's up, sunshine. Yeah. So. <laughs> Shout my, out to you, sunshine. Yes, yes. I so, had a crush on you. Sorry. But really? <laughs> she dubbed my shit, so it's all good. <laughs> my cousin, we ha- remember the DS? Did you ever play the Nintendo, uh, the, the dog game? No. Like, where you, like, feed the dog oh, and like everything a, else. What's those games? Those. A Tamagotchi like that? Something like that, like but it was with the with DS. Dog? Nah. So, my cousin named the dog Mari, which <laughs> Mari. is like my mom's name for short. Maria Mari, we used to call her Mari. Okay. So, he used to tell the dog to come, right? Like, oh, come here. So, he used to be like, Mari, come. Mari, come. Y todo el mundo, muchacho, el diablo. No, like, stop, stop, stop cursing. Mm-hmm. He's like, what are you talking? Mari, come. Mari, come. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even see the correlation at first, but now. Yeah, cool. I'm, I'm very, cool. I'm very Spanish. But oh, how do you feel about like parents trying to like lecture you, but they're still like they're telling you not to curse. Como muchacho el diablo, stop saying that. But you're cursing but you're while cursed. you're trying to like that's, school that's, this, that's funny. this child. There was actually I went to the movies to see Venom. I won't spoil it for you guys, but. At the end of the movie, I left, whatever, whatever. And there's there's this Adam Fam, the Adam Family movie came out. And you know how they have, like, little posters of the ones that stand and stuff? Mm-hmm. I forgot those cutouts, what they're called. They're probably called cutouts. cutouts. But, all right, so there was a kid taking a picture. And then there was another parent with her child who also wanted to take the picture. But she wasn't with it. She was upset. And she was like, you're going to fucking make me miss the Uber. If I miss my fucking Uber, I'm going to slap you. Like, just like that, no mind. Like, yeah. And it's like, bro, like, whoever it was, hope, like, I have to say, I hope it's not her daughter, but it seemed like it was her daughter. Like, you're, you just took her to the movies. She's excited. She wants to take a picture, probably with the movie. She just saw the Adams fam. And you over, like, how you talking to her like that? Like, <laughs> you're kind of rewarding her and then, like, taking it back in a sense yeah, because or, you're making just, her feel like. Or she's, she's literally just being a kid. Like, how, how you gonna be so impatient? With her to the point where you literally saying out in public, if I miss my Uber, I'm gonna like like it's her fault. Like, yeah, she, like she ha- yeah, like she has nothing. Like that's crazy. Like I hope she was just one of those women who are mad loud and don't actually I do just anything. Feel like uneducated people and kids having kids and having no patience because it's just messed up. And then that that also no, that's like under tiempo, eh? yeah, for her to like enjoy. Like my mom used to take me out to one six one to the movies, but we used to like I can visualize the whole like yeah, there was an Ubers back then and stuff like that, but like the train ride. Like I probably remember more the train ride than I do actually watching the movie because it was just like quality time. When that child grows up, mm-hmm. her quality time is gonna consist of fucking child, this and this and that. Yeah. F, like F, F, let F, them F, hold it. Like she wasn't even like I understand that she was being annoying and whining. Like she all she literally wanted was to take that picture and her like that that's what hurt me the most. Like you could you could tell when the kid is like behaving bad and being annoying. So you, you, you hear you kinda deserve it. Yeah, you hear the parent going off and you're like, okay, it's regular. But she she was so sweet and she or she wanted to she and you know how kids are when they see another kid do something yeah so it was just one of those things like all she had to do was take the picture normal <laughs> okay come on sweetie let's go to the uber but she made she made a whole issue and that's what, that's what i was gonna say it reminded me of 
of public transportation because you know I like <laughs> my public transportation. I went on the bus and you know how sometimes it gets crowded. People don't be letting uh, people get off the bus first so they could go in. They do that in a train a lot, también. Mm -hmm. And yeah, some woman just went off in the inside the bus and she was yelling at, "Let the people come out first. And, and then, she wasn't even one of the ones coming out. <laughs> no, she wasn't even. She wasn't even the ones coming out. Because we have then, to put all the details. And like there. that's understandable because yeah, yeah, there yeah. be donyas, there be old people trying to get on the bus or trying to get off, and you and people are here like ready to push everybody just to go in. So I, I get that part. I'm like, okay, good for her. She's helping out the people again. But then now there's people like standing over her. Like it gets crowded. Like mm -hmm. that's my one pet peeve. You know, public transportation and gets crowded. Yeah. So she, you know, she's sitting on the part where there's two seats and, you know, there's one by the window or you're close to the door where everybody walks or whatever. She could clearly sit by the window. No one's going to touch her. No one. Everyone will avoid her. But she's en el mismo medio. purposefully sitting in the middle where people are around. And she's like, don't get close to me or don't touch me. And then I'm like, ugh. Like, you, I was just like you had us when you were like let people get off, but now you're just making a whole a whole scene for no And then it. now she's one of those people where you categorize. No, she just likes being loud. It's yeah. not even a purpose as to why like, she's like you truly don't want people to touch you. Don't take public transportation. That's one. And then that's also like people who just love starting altercation. They love for no, no reason. reason. Or people who like talk mad loud on the phone in public. Are you, are you like are you like that? No, I don't really even like talking on the phone on public. Like, I'll do it while I'm walking. Like, if I'm walking home because I, I need a like companion cool, but or whatever. Like, 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 let's say somebody got you tight. Like, are you going to argue with them on the phone, like, nah, in public? I'd like, rather do that in person, man. Do it in person or do it, like, in, in the comfort of your home. Right, right, right. Like, nobody needs, like... Because la gente, they're attention seekers, I feel like. It's, it's... They it's, put it on speaker. Some Spanish people do Oh, that's, that's another yeah. thing in speak. I think we spoke about this before, but what? Excuse me. Spanish we ate some people. Some good ass tacos. That's <laughs> <laughs> Spanish people love talking loud on the phone to each other. Como que no se van a oír. Yeah, especially on Facetime. Like, you, like they could talk like this. Si, sí, como está tú? But they'd be like, Si, sí, como está tú? <laughs> like, very, very. For loud. no reason. Sorry if you're listening on headphones because I know. <laughs> but you know exactly how it feels when you're <laughs> out there and. That's a fact. That's how they do it. Yes, yes, yes. Have you ever been in a situation where you're like, oh, this person. Or like even in the elevator because when I take the elevators at home. I feel people, like the elevator be like the most awkward thing of all. You're like. Like, it just gets awkward very quickly. Like, it doesn't matter who you're with. It's just kind of everybody just, like, kind of to themselves. But I feel like that's good. Like, let's say someone's in one corner. You're on your phone. Normal. You're not talking. Or if you're talking, you're talking, like, very subtly. Like, yeah, yeah. I'm coming upstairs. Like, wait till I get off the elevator. I'm, I'll talk to you. And you have somebody else just waiting, casually waiting. Boom, boom, boom. But then you have that one person who's being mad extra, mad loud, either listening to music or smoking oh, yeah. something. But I see that the public transportation order, like, there's no respect of, oh, and, and trust me, I know moms <laughs> got it hard with strollers and how they got to do mm -hmm. everything by themselves, but there's no such thing as closing strollers anymore. <laughs> they come with the whole stroller. And not only do they not close the stroller, but they literally stand in the entrance. In the entrance or the exit whip. People are supposed to come out. And, and then, then get upset if you, like... Exactly, right? Like, if you don't get upset, you know you're, you're like, you the, fucked up class. and you try to, like, move or you try to get off. So, people... That's fine. But you get upset at people because they're trying to get out and they might push you a little bit. Like, first of all, close the stroll or don't stand by the door. Oh, metete en tu Uber. Or take a Uber. <laughs> or... <laughs> or maybe not take a Uber because they be charging the arm and the leg, so yeah, I understand. Single. They've been a little bit more reasonable. Yeah. I, think, I think... Yo! yo. <laughs> I was saying I took a... Yo, I took a Uber the other day. It was like $12 when it's usually like 21 Yo, they've been listening to me. Yeah, God, and I was lounge. like, no like no way. But like that has never happened to you where like... I said you thought... You even... Like you didn't even search anything. Like you just thought about it. And it pops up on your phone. But I, what I was telling you today, too, I think that was very weird to me. Mm -hmm. Literally, I was in my bed yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I'm just, it's not that I'm addicted to social media or nothing. I'm just like, yo, I just kind of want, like, to kind of disappear. Aunque sea por una semana. And just not focus on, like, 
oh, let me, you know, like just go back and forth to like. To unplug yourself. Yeah, to unplug, unplug myself. That's the right Full word. Full circle. <laughs> um, and I literally went on and I, I screen recorded because I kind of wanted to do a vlog out of it too. Like how would it be? The same thing like how I did with the dating apps. It was just kind of like a social experiment to kind of have a conversation for us mm -hmm. to speak about here. So I wanted to do the same thing with social media about what it would be like to disconnect for a week or two weeks. I have never like put my uh, my Instagram on pause or uh, or done that, and mm -hmm. I finally did, and I did it last night. Mm -hmm. Y hoy pasa esa mierda where like everybody screen. got to feel <laughs> what, <you felt. laughs> what I felt for like That's six hours. So it's kind of like, coño, o me están oyendo, or I'm kind of like. I kid you not. The other day, it was at nighttime. I wasn't searching anything. I wasn't watching TV. I didn't put nothing on you my just TV. Thought about it. I didn't put nothing on my wife. I was just thinking. I was thinking about Taco Bell. I was just thinking about it. I wake up and I see like ad, those little ads that pop up. Taco Bell, the new some chicken shit that they got, okay. which is mad good. That that it actually like I saw it and I went to try it because I saw it. <laughs> but I was just so freaked out on like how the fuck did my phone, this algorithm, whatever, this Wi-Fi knew. That I wanted tacos. Like, so how do you think that works? Like, do you think it's really like... I don't know if that was a coincidence, but that that has... But like, what are... The coincidence could be like so many things. Like, it could be like you're one, you like McDonald's. Mm -hmm. It could have been still a fast food restaurant. It could have still been giving you a coupon for the sweetie, whatever. The sweetie meal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it could have been McDonald's, but oh no. You happen to think about Taco Bell and Taco Bell show. That's what I'm saying, but... I, I'm freaked out because you you know your phone, you know your ads. You don't get Taco Bell ads. You decide to think about Taco Bell and yeah. you get a Taco Bell ad. Like I get it when you say I'm let's say I'm on your Wi-Fi and you search something and we spoke about it and then I go home. Like it makes sense the Wi-Fi, whatever phones, whatever's going on. They they do some some funky stuff there, but, but for me to not. Not speak of it. I just thought about it in my head and it appears. Some yeah. manifestation going on there. Yeah, but some weird some, some weird some, manifestation. Some crazy shit, yeah. Yeah. That's I don't know. That's crazy. I can't even blame the government for that one because that's some, I don't that's some I, but other, that makes like, me think. It's like what if even with the phone off or not in use? I mean I say off because who turns off take phone all mm -hmm, the time. Mm -hmm. Let's say it's not in use. What if it's your phone still. catches on. I don't know. <laughs> That's a whole other thing. But I'm pretty sure, like, even I'm if your phone was it. no, even if your phone was off, though, it uh, you didn't speak about it. True, I didn't speak about it. And even in movies, you see, okay, tu puedes pagar celular, pero no, they go deep into like breaking mm -hmm. the SIM card in half yeah. and just dumping it. Because that is true. <laughs> they know something we don't, Jose. I'm that, telling you, they that is true. Something. Yeah, because you could literally just turn it off and be like, all right, I'm still, mm -hmm. I'm still but running around with it. They so destroy when I need everything. It, so when I need ah. it, I can turn it on. They break the SIM card in half and still toss that. 007. 007. You, t you taught us some stuff. Mission Impossible, you taught us some Yo, stuff. Yo, 007 for GameCube was one of the dopest. Dopest games? Do dopest game oh. because it was, it gave me the first taste of like some Call of Duty type of thing. Yeah, like when you're killing yourself, like type, type. <laughs> from that from that point of view too, uh -huh. you know? The for like third person shoot. There was a another game for PlayStation. I think it's called Silton Fighter, some shit like that. But I used to play with my brother all the time. I'm I'm pretty sure I annoyed him so many times because I always wanted to play that game with him. But sometimes he wouldn't want to play with me, whatever. But yeah, like we you just throw grenades at each other or you shoot each other. It was cool. It, was it gives you the first taste. Like, yeah. you, you know, we got to live like different stages. Yeah, and I think we, we, we're we good. We're good. A good generation. Because we got to live like through the MySpace, Facebook, when Facebook was Facebook, to now mm. Instagram, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. <laughs> that government is way too advanced yeah, for our life. That's scary. And then I'm, I'm telling you, like, I don't have my, my phone is in my pocket. Yeah, I don't know where your phone is. But whatever we spoke about on this show, before it even it uploads, or whatever, and I see stuff or on my phone or on my TV about stuff we discuss. That's insane. I'm I'm a, I'm a grab my phone. 
it doesn't have a SIM card, so I gotta, I gotta, I'm gonna break it. <laughs> you gotta make that the thing. Like, I'm gonna Yo, they're setting you up completely because we don't even it. have SIM cards. So what are we gonna destroy? This shit is crazy. Well, some phones have. Actually, I think I do have a SIM card. Actually, I'm not sure. I check. You know, I'm not even gonna check. Not, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yes, Alvin. <laughs> but yeah. So guys, I want you guys to think about me Kama Lounge so that when you least expect it, we pop up. <laughs> I want you to think of cool baby names. Don't name your child Barbara. Yeah, that's another thing. Bertha. <laughs> There's a big Bertha in Call of Duty. That's what we call the truck. Big Bertha. Do you remember all the names of the guns? Because I play Fortnite and I'm just like, I think this one is okay and this one is not. I, know, like, I, don't... I could name like a lot of guns. <laughs> I don't think I know all of them. Because sometimes they, they'll put like one or two new guns. Okay. Or they'll put the same gun and they'll give it like a different name from when they had like a previous game. Okay. okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> but like Barbara. What's in the, I keep saying Barbara. I, so I think I might Heather? actually like Barbara. Heather? Heather's not an old person Heather. name. Okay. Uh, that's that's think, kind of like a bad name. Like, oh, you saw Heather last night? <laughs> yeah, I did. She was looking. Barbara. Fior. Fior. Yeah, that's like an old Spanish name. Yeah. Fior. Maria. Let's get rid Maria. of the Marias already. Marias. I know a lot of, you know, older Marias and younger Marias. I feel like that, that name is in between. Maria is like Jose, though, kind of. Yeah. A lot do, you, of do, you, uh, do you feel like... A lot of people también they go to like the Bible to get like names like biblical. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Guadalupe. Mm -hmm. uh, Christian. Sí. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Himself. Himself. Barbara. <laughs> William. Would you know William? William. Wilfredo. Wilfredo. That's like Matt. After you I know have, Wil. I have yeah, a middle school teacher name was Wilfredo. Shout out, Shout out to, Wilfredo. to you, Wilfredo. If you're you're out there. <laughs> But yeah, where can your mom? Not your mom. What am I talking about? Where can Marielle's non Marielle people name other name? What the? F <laughs> Yo, I sound like Marielle today. I'm <gasps> off. I'm off my game today. I don't even know if that was a compliment or uh, whatever. But where can they find you? Let let the the people need to know where. Well, can since they find social media are up. Oh yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no. I got. I got it. Okay. Where can Facebook and Instagram, when they return, find you, Marielle? Well, Where can they find I'll you? be back on as soon as it goes back up. Okay. You can find me on something about Marielle on Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Jose. Yes. <clears throat> Where can Barbara find you? <laughs> <laughs> that name stuck in this whole. There's probably Matt. Other, watch, watch after this finish. I'm gonna think of Matt. Other, other names. names. Yeah, that always happens. But Barbara, though. you can find me at mm -hmm. <laughs> Jose <laughs> underscore. That's M M M. That's M M M J O S E underscore on Instagram. You can follow the show at Mikama Lounge everywhere. You can also catch us at the Super Four Bros on Instagram and YouTube. And check out the foreshop.com. Yo, tell them about that full shop and the new stuff we got. We got some on. new merch. You can also follow the full shop on Instagram. So I think it's the full shop on Instagram. It is, it is, it is. <laughs> so yes, check out new merch that, that's there on the show for Halloween. We got some Halloween stuff there. Yeah. And yeah, patreon.com slash Minkama Lounge. Thank you guys for watching. And we see you guys next time. <laughs>